。好，第十八條咧就係問翻下面 A、B、C、D 啦，邊一個嘅變數咧係對於失水嘅速度係有最大嘅影響嘅？咁啊 A 咧就講葉嘅面積 ，B 就係葉嘅厚度 ，C 就係成棵植物嘅高度長度。D 咧就係有幾多嘅木質部，咁我哋先解決 C 同埋 D 先，呢兩個都唔係答案嚟，因為 option C 咧淨係講成棵植物嘅長度啫，就就係冇講到咧究竟有幾大嘅表面面積咧，俾棵植物去失水嘅。咁有印象咧，其實我哋上一年嘅題目都有講到 transpiration， 咁上年有條題目佢都有講到話棵樹嘅失水咧係多過一啲草嘛，咁高度都唔關事嘅。咁原因係因為棵樹多啲樹葉啊嘛，咁跟住去到 D 啦，就話多啲木質部，其實木質部就只係攞嚟混水嘅啫，就唔係攞嚟失水嘅，咁所以 C、D 咧都係錯咗。我得返 A 同埋 B 啦 ，A 就係講葉嘅面積，呢、这個呢就係同我哋塊葉上面嘅啲氣孔啦有啲關係啦。而 B 呢嗰、那個葉嘅厚度呢，就係關嗰個水蒸氣啦，究竟係塊葉入面嗰個氣室啊。嗰、那個擴散速度咧有幾快嘅啫，咁所以睇翻下面呢一幅圖啦，成個失水嘅過程啊，就係講緊一開始咧，嚟啲水咧就喺個葉肉細胞表面就蒸發咗，從而咧就令到個氣室咧係充斥住呢個 water vapor。咁啊，當啲水蒸氣啦喺個氣室已經係充斥住啦、飽和咗啦，佢哋就會 diffusion 出咗去。咁呢個咧就係一個 water loss。所以到頭來諗 ，water diffuse through the stomata into the atmosphere。嚟，咁所以究竟係個面積重要啲啊，定係個厚薄重要啲咧？薄啲嘅葉咧，的確係可以令到個 air space 咧容易啲俾個水蒸氣咧去叫做變得飽和嘅。咁但係啦，只有大塊啲嘅面積嘅葉咧，先係代表住佢有多啲嘅氣孔啦，就俾啲水咧去快啲咁流走嘅。咁所以答案咧就係 A 啦。Okay, so let's take a look at question eighteen. It's talking about the variables A, B, C, D. Which one has the greatest influence on the rate of water loss of the leafy shoot? For these four options, it's talking about the area of the leaf. Thickness of the leaf, the length of the leafy shoot, and also the number of the xylem vessels. So we deal with option C and D first because they are not the answer. For the option C, the length of the leafy shoot it doesn't mention the surface area for the water loss. It's just like that. The last、uh, DSE question is asking for the tree compared with the herbs. So the tree they have a higher rate of water loss because. They have more leaves, not because they are very very tall. So for this option C is the same idea. When we just talking about the length or the height of the leafy shoot, actually it doesn't mention the surface area for water loss. And for option D, the number of xylem is just talking about the water transport. More xylem vessels, it will need to a faster water transport. I agree, but it doesn't mean that it will have a higher rate of water loss. So for option A is talking about the area of the leaf is related to the number of stomata of the leaves, and the thickness of the leaf is related to the diffusion of water vapor inside the air space. So we need to recall the mechanism of the transpiration. The first stage is talking about the water on the mesophyll cell surface. They Evaporate and then into the air space. So later on, the air space will become saturated with the water vapor. So for the second step, is the water vapor concentration is higher than that in the atmosphere. So that's why the water vapor will diffuse through the stomata into the atmosphere. So how can we determine that the thickness of the leaf and the area of the leaf which should be have a greater influence? So for the thinner leaves, of course. The air space will become saturated faster than the thicker leaf because the air space is smaller. But the critical idea is talking about how can the water vapor leave the leaves because the water vapor will diffuse through the stomata into the atmosphere. So that means larger area leaves, so there will be more stomata for the water to go out. So that's why. It should be the greatest influence on the rate of water loss. So that's why the answer is A.